With how many different variations of art depictions from however many different fandoms there are on the internet, there is always bound to be incredibly high levels of quality work from each and every one of them. But does a specific piece of art belonging to a certain fandom detract from its general value and likability? Can you enjoy a piece of artwork regardless of context? But more importantly, can you be a fan despite the fandom? And to be specific with an example, I don't mean can you enjoy a show like Gravity Falls despite its online community, but rather can you enjoy an artist who creates art for that community? Now, my personal most adored and beloved musician that isn't in the public eye has gotta be, ya boy, Ken Ashcorp. Most of his music pertains to geek culture, like video games and cartoons, but occasionally expanding out to topics of people or just funny jokes he likes. What specifically caught me is how he's able to tiptoe around different musical stylings and just deliver so hard. He's got exciting fast and hyper songs, mellow jello soothing tunes, and probably the goofiest rap tracks that are absolute fucking fire. But to top it all off, as if this goes without saying, his voice is so fucking smooth. It's sexy and makes me want to ask questions that I don't want to answer. Is that gay? I hope so. However, if you click on his YouTube page and use your point and click adventure inspect button, you'll find right away that there's a lot of furry shit. And right out of the gate, I'm not in any way opposed to the furry fandom, as I'm a full supporter of, if you like something, never let anyone stop you from liking it. However, with Ken Ashcorp being my favorite music creator, it can be tough for me to try to share his music with my friends. Even with prefacing a link with, don't mind the lesbian panda girl. I've actually had a response expressing that they would listen if it wasn't so sexy furry bait. Which was, of course, kind of sad to hear, but this instance actually originally got me on the thought of, can you be a fan despite the fandom? And personally, I think so. When I think of Ken Ashcorp, their iconic heart-themed panda girl instantly comes to mind. Either looking like a saucy slew or a trash can dweller who's just crawled out to eat a burger. And it's fine. It's humanizing. Just a cute little representation of what might be going on in the song. But ultimately, it's about the music and here's where it gets a little more interesting. As often as I change my favorite song by Ken, most of the time it's a particular tune by the name of Touch Fluffy Tail. From the title and the picture, it's clearly about some lewd furry noise and even clearer once you hear the lyrics. But despite all of this, it's my favorite song. It gets me fucking going, dude. Its sound and energy is just so phenomenally perfect that I could never not love it. And while I do understand the tone of the subject matter in the song, I'm 100% fine with it. It's this very interesting concoction of this is for me and this isn't for me at all. And really, I, and anyone if they're open enough, can extend the same mindset with other similar works. Say for instance, Caravan Palace's Lone Digger. This incredibly catchy electro swing tune had accompanied a very stylized animation, featuring such animalistic characters, regardless of the lyrics not really having much to do with animals. It's a fantastic video that meshes incredibly well with the song, so it's super enjoyable. Another prime example would be Vibzy Pop's fan animation of a mashup between Kesha's Die Young spliced with another artist who had covered it. It is incredibly clear from watching just how much time and heart was poured into this project. Both of these music videos are simply a joy to watch, what with how much personality and love put into each of them individually. And it is most certainly furry, that goes without saying. But both videos are so astoundingly detailed and heart-filled that you just have to throw out some mad respect for them. But at the same time, not everyone can, or will because of the implication that if they were to appreciate a specific art form, they kind of get roped into the general thought of, oh, they fuck squirrels regularly. Which would be a social concern. Personally, I think the trick is to probably just keep things that you like on the down low and never talk to anyone about it. Or, you know, make a video defending a topic that you know almost nothing about. One of the two. Yeah. Anyway. I'm super curious to read on what you think on such a topic. Is there any odd, obscure works of art that you enjoy from a community that you're not a part of? What are your thoughts on why the average person can or can't enjoy an art form, regardless of context? Be sure to holla at your boy and let me know. 
Also, go check out the amazing artists that I've covered in this video. I'll be sure to put a hot link in the description. This has been a straight white cis male in his early 20s talking about furry shit. I wish I was gay. I'm a monster of some variety.